A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, This day the Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful, then, to observe them with all your heart and all your soul. Today you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God, and you are to walk in His ways and observe His statutes, commandments, and decrees, and hearken to His voice. Today the Lord is making this agreement with you that you are to be a people peculiarly his own as he promised you, provided you keep all his commandments. He will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all the nations he has made. You will be a people sacred to the Lord your God as he promised. Verbum Domini Blessed they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept, though that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. I will give you thanks in an upright heart. When I have learned your just ordinances, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. <clears throat> Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dominus Rabiscum Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, Shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. If you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, <coughs> what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, again, we're in the Sermon on the Mount. The study guide on how we are to ace the final exam, the judgment, separation of sheep and goats. And Jesus is upping the ante. He's always upping the ante because he wants us to strive to enter through the narrow gate. That is the Sermon on the Mount from the Beatitudes to again. Uh, and, and I'd have to say that, you know, Jesus, after he preaches 5, 6, and 7 Gospel of Matthew, he gives us time to contemplate, to meditate, to mull over all that he gives us, performs many miracles in between, gives us many parables in between, kind of like to let that season, right? Right, what he tells us in the in the Sermon on the Mount five, six, and seven, and then he lowers the boom. And in Matthew chapter twenty five, the separation of sheep and goats, he tells us exactly how we're going to be judged. In the Sermon on the Mount, he tells us to be perfect, as our Father is perfect, to be holy, as our Father is holy, and to be merciful, as our Father is merciful. Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you've heard me say that these are not commands. They are not commands, because Jesus knows better than anyone. He created us. He knows our human nature better than we know ourselves. Does he accept our fallen human nature? No. That's why he wants us to strive to enter through the narrow gate tells us to be perfect as our Father is perfect, to be holy as our Father is holy, to be merciful as our Father is holy, is uh, merciful. Are these commandments? No, they're encouragement. Strong encouragement. Live strong to be holy as our Father is holy. Live strong. Strive. Be perfect as our Father is perfect. Strive. Live strong. 
be merciful as our Father is merciful. And again, it starts with actually being merciful as our Father is merciful. We can do that. We can do that. We can take all the good things that God gives us and share it with others. We can take the forgiveness of our sins and be forgiving of others. And Jesus is very clear about that. We have already talked about the Our Father and the reinforcement of the Our Father. About extending mercy to others. And of course the final judgment. The final exam is about how we extend mercy to others. And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is telling us exactly how to ace the final exam, and we cannot ace the final exam without Christ's mercy. It's first Saturday, the optional memorial of St. Casimir, a day we dedicate to the Blessed Virgin Mary, a day of great grace. Let us be merciful as our Father is merciful in the hope that we can strive to have the grace to be as holy as our Father is holy and to be perfect as our Father is perfect. And this is the difference between what our Lord gives us today in the New Testament, in the New Covenant, different than what was in the Old Covenant that Moses spoke about. But it all comes down to obedience, my brothers and sisters in Christ, our desire to be obedient. Do you desire to be obedient? I desire to be obedient. Do you fall short? Yes, I fall short. It's not a matter of when we will, uh, if we will fail, but when we will fail. But Jesus gives us every means. We have every means at our disposal to achieve our eternal salvation. Let us resolve today to, to get to heaven bring as many people with us as possible. That's our only job here on earth. That's our only purpose here on earth. Uh, let us uh, strive to do it well. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs, 